Hello, learning birds. We're, today we're going to be looking at surface area of cubes and rectangular prisms. And to do that, first off, we have to take a look at a net of a cube. A net of a cube looks like this. It's basically six squares that you can put in any order. And when you fold them all up, they become a cube. And that is what we get, the surface area of a cube. Remember, surface area is like when you're painting over top of a figure. It's covering the outside. So it's that green that covers the outside of the cube. So the surface area, if we're trying to calculate that, all we need to do is find the surface area of one of those squares and then multiply it times six. Because just like a die, you've got six sides on a cube. So here's an example where we're going to go ahead and do that. Find the surface area of this cube when the side length is four centimeters. So our surface area is six times the area of our square. And our square is the side squared. So in this case, the side length is four. Four times four is 16. And when we multiply six sides times 16 square centimeters, we get 96 square centimeters. That is the surface area of a cube. So that's our equation and how we solve that. We're going to move into rectangular prisms now. They are a little bit more complicated and they can look kind of funky like this picture you see here. If you fold it all up, in the right way, you'll get something that's a rectangular prism. It looks like this. The equation's a little bit more complicated for a rectangular prism because there are different sized rectangles. You can see them there. What you end up with is the area of three different rectangles, the side, the bottom and top, and the front and back. And you're going to multiply that times two. So each rectangle you're going to multiply times two, and I'll show you how to do that. Let's go ahead and find the surface area of our rectangular prism. So here we have our orange rectangular prism. We're going to find the surface area of the different rectangles. First, this side. And you have to understand that there's also an equal side opposite of that. So kind of on the back side of this rectangle. So that's why we're multiplying it times 2 later on. So here's our area. We have our length of 12 and our width of 4. We multiply those together. That'll give us 48 square inches. That is the area of that rectangle I've, I've represented in green. The next rectangle we'll look at is the top and the bottom. That has a length and width of 4 and 2. So we multiply 4 times 2, and that gives us 8. 8 square inches is the area of the top and bottom. And our final rectangle is right here on the front. It's the same as the one on the back. And the length of that is 12, and the width is 2. So when we multiply those, we'll get 24 square inches. So those are the three rectangles that we have to find, the front and back, the sides, and also the top and bottom. And what we're going to do is multiply each of those numbers times 2. So here we go. 2 times the area of the first one, the second one, and the third one. We'll just go ahead and do that math. 2 times 48 gives us 96. 2 times 8 is 16, and 2 times 24 gives us 48. Add those all together, and that gives us our surface area of 160 square inches. That is the surface area of this rectangular prism. Or in other words, if you're trying to paint the outside of it, that's what it would take to cover the whole outside. That is everything that you'll need to know about finding the surface area for a cube and for a rectangular prism. Here's a quick summary with all the equations that you'll need. I hope that lesson was helpful for you, and you guys have a wonderful day.